This video is brought to you by my two books, Practical Music Theory for the Rock Guitarist and the Blues Guitar Bible. Want to learn about modes, harmony, scales, chord substitution and keys? Or maybe you're interested in supercharging your blues guitar rhythm and lead chops. Whatever you're interested in, I guarantee you will be hitting the fast lane to progress with either of these works. Both feature video demonstrations and tutorials, loads of tabs and jam tracks to play along with, and I promise you, everything is explained in crystal clear plain English. Check out the links in the description for more details. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you are well. It's just a quick little first impressions video about this guitar today, and you're probably wondering what it is, because there's a fair chance you've never seen one of these before. This is a Corvus model guitar from Agrajag Guitars in Middlesbrough. Now, regular viewers of this channel will know that I've had a couple of jobs done by Agrajag Guitars. They're my sort of local uh, guitar builder, luthier, guitar tech kind of place of business. Um, uh, they put uh, some stainless steel frets into my Jet JT350 and did the same job on my PRS SE CE24. And I got to know James, the uh, the main man at um, Agrijag, and he told me about this guitar that he was building. There are plans afoot for this guitar, and I'll tell you all about them um, shortly. But um, basically, he asked me if I'd um, you know give this guitar the once over and make a couple of videos with it. So that's what I'm doing. Unfortunately. If the guitar does have to go back, I don't get to keep it. Um, but I tell you what, before we get into how it sounds, what it feels like to play and what the kind of uh, long-term plan is for this guitar, let's take a little bit of a look at some specs via some B-roll that I shot earlier. We have a Maranti body with a burl poplar top. The neck is a five-piece flamed maple and venge, or is it wenge, however it's pronounced, uh, affair with copper side dots, and it is a set neck design too. The scale length is 25 inches and the fretboard radius is 12 inches. Uh, we have uh, a bird's eye maple fretboard with copper and green glow markers, and the frets themselves are stainless steel Jeskar 57110 frets. The the bridge is by Hipshot and the tuners are Goto SG381 locking affairs. The nut is Graftec and the pickups are Seymour Duncans, an SH5 custom in the bridge and an SH2 in the neck. Controlled via a single CTS volume pot and three-way pickup selector. And that is what is going on with the Agrajag Corvus number two. Full scratch custom build designed and built by James McHugh of Agrajag Guitars. And with that... Back to the studio. I've always wanted to say that. So, seeing it in close-up, I think you'll agree, it is um, an unusual, but I think unusual and attractive looking thing. I especially like, I don't know how well this is coming out here, but where, where you've got these kind of knot holes down here in this in this top. That sort of reminds me of the, the kind of thing that Ben Crow was doing at um, Crimson Guitars, um, you know, when they had, when they had that raw series of, of instruments, but that was kind of much more pronounced and extreme on, on those guitars. Um, it's, um, it's just a little bit more, you know, kind of, I don't want to use the word tasteful, but you, you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit more minimalist on this. Absolutely beautiful guitar. Uh, let's hear what those Seymour Duncan humbuckers sound like. I'm currently on the um, blue guitar, plugged into rather the blue guitar amp one Mercury Edition on the uh, vintage channel. Uh, the guitar's volume is rolled down at the moment and um, this is the kind of clean sound this guitar is going to give us. What a beautiful bell-like, um, warm, transparent, but still um, identifiably humbucker sound. There's no coil splits or anything like this on this guitar, uh, but you know when you can get a, a sound that transparent just by using the volume control. I was on the middle position there on the pickup selector, by the way. Let's point the camera down so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. Single volume control um, and just a 
three-way toggle. I was on the middle position there. Uh, let's show it a little bit again. I'm going to kind of go to the bridge pickup um, and just crank the volume control all the way up and let's see what sort of noise that makes. I do apologise. I always kind of uh, get a blank mind, as you can tell, whenever I have to just kind of play in something in these sort of demos. Um, let's try the same thing with a neck pickup. Here we go. It doesn't sound like the set neck guitar that it is. It's got a definite sort of bolt on zing to it, um, which firmly kind of puts it in the, that's a firm tick in the plus column from me. Uh, let's just kind of back the guitars, go back to the bridge pickup and kind of go for a somewhere in between sound like this. kind of like a big fat telecaster sound isn't it um you know um neck pickup on that sort of halfway house setting <laughs> Another thing that isn't working in my favour is um, these are 10 to 46 gauge strings and uh, since my little mishap with my finger last year I had to go down to 9 to 42 so it does feel a bit um, stiff this guitar but I'm really uh, loving the sounds. It's, it's a very bright sounding guitar um, and I suppose if I had to find any kind of uh, shortcoming with it it would be I would like to be able to tame that brightness with a tone control um you know that would be uh, a nice touch but these are all custom builds um so you know you you want a tone control tell james and he'll put one on for you um yeah beautiful guitar absolutely light as a feather as well i'll do the full so sort of shakedown of this guitar on sunday the usual kind of uh let's see what it sounds like in a track kind of thing and you know nut width and how much it weighs and pickup readings and all that sort of stuff and neck profile the neck itself is sort of a i would i would call this a, like a d-shaped neck it's got um just feeling it there there's there's a definite kind of plateau round the back um sort of round roughly in between these two um are these the venge or wenge or whatever it's called stripes there there's a definite sort of plateau there which um you know is i suspect for the kind of twiddly 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 player uh you know because it's an ideal place to put your thumb but as you saw there it's not um uncomfortable to do the old kind of neck thumb round the top kind of um you know stevie ray kind of thing like that either it's it's a very comfortable neck again all of these things depending on how you spec them up can be um you know you can have it to just however you you want it to be including i probably have the fretboard edges rolled a little bit as well uh but straight out of the traps this is i can't imagine anyone being uh, uncomfortable on this neck it is satin finished a thing of beauty and the frets are glassy and well stainless steel frets uh, exactly what you'd expect um if you want to own a guitar like this um then 
that you, you, you're going to need to be prepared to part with somewhere north of 2,000 quid. Um, two, 250 or 25, depending on how, on how you spec it up. But you know, you're going to be standing out from the crowd a little bit and it's going to be, this is the sort of money that you spend on the instrument that's going to last you the rest of your life. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, and, uh, it, okay, it doesn't have the, um, you know, the badge factor of PRS or, um, you know, Gibson or, you know, Fender or something like that. But, you know, the person who's going to be shopping for a custom built guitar isn't the kind of person that's going to be shopping for the, the trophy guitar that often those brands can be. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> they are to a lot of people. Um, it doesn't mean the bad guitars. It just means that, you know, <laughs> they do have that attribute to them as well. Uh, but if you're just looking for a bespoke instrument built to the highest quality, then, um, you know, that's the sort of money you'd have to spend. Um, so what are the plans for this guitar? Well, James is going to be raffling this guitar off. Uh, there's a potential, um, the, the potential that the raffle is going to be happening on this channel here, maybe on the live stream or something like that. The, the details are yet to be worked out. Um, as I speak in this video, James is feverishly beavering away, putting up the web page for the raffle. So I haven't got any details, uh, for that at the moment, but as soon as I get them, I'll put them into the description of this video and put them in a pinned comment as well. So you can, um, you can enter the raffle. Um, what I can tell you is that there'll be free shipping, uh, for the winner of this guitar. Uh, if you're in the UK overseas, then there would have to be a conversation about shipping costs. Um, you know, that is, um, what James has told me. Um, what else? Yeah, the, the, the raffle is in aid of a fantastic organization in this part of the world, uh, Teesside Hospice. This part of the world is called Teesside because we're on the banks of the River Tees and, uh, Teesside Hospice. Well, you know what a hospice does. Um, it's, um, it's a place that looks after some very, very ill people at, um, you know, and gives them end of life care. And, um, James is, as I say, raffling this guitar off to, uh, raise raise funds for them i think what he's wanting to do is he's got a threshold of how much he wants to raise in terms of uh, revenue from the raffle before he he um, does the raffle draw i will keep you posted on all of that coming up on sunday is the full review of this guitar where as i say i do the um the, the full shakedown weights and measures what's it like in a mix all that kind of stuff and some thoughts after i've played it for a little bit longer because I've, I've literally been playing this for about half an hour um so you know let me let it kind of sit with me uh and uh be my guitar of choice over the next couple of days and i can give you some slightly more informed and in-depth opinions of it um but there you go that is my first impressions review of the agrijag guitars corvus model make of it what you will and with that i'll uh, i'll bid you all a good day thank you thank you so much for watching everyone if you've enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it and don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time regular as clockwork we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and many many other things it's a fantastic way to kick off the weekend and i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day as i said and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now